If you want to transfer eSIM from an old iPhone to your new iPhone 16, 16 Pro Max or Plus, then let me show you how to do that even if it says the SIM in your old iPhone does not support eSIM transfer. To transfer eSIM from your old iPhone, first you need to have Bluetooth enabled on both of your iPhones and make sure that they're unlocked. Now with your old iPhone unlocked, open settings and go to cellular. Scroll down and tap on add eSIM. Now you'll need to choose transfer from nearby iPhone. As soon as you do that, you'll get a pop-up on your old iPhone. Just press continue on that. Then enter the verification code and it will say your eSIM is successfully added. But in your case, if you're getting this error saying your SIM is not supported and the SIM in your old iPhone does not support eSIM transfer, then this means the carrier that you're using does not support eSIM transfer yet. And here's the list of all the carriers that support eSIM transfer. So if yours isn't in the list, then to transfer your eSIM, you'll just need to delete the eSIM from your old iPhone. And before that, make sure to contact with your carrier or SIM provider and get a new QR code or activation code. And after getting the code, open settings on your old iPhone, then go to the cellular settings, and delete your eSIMs that you want to transfer. When you get a pop-up, just select Update Contacts, and after removing all the eSIMs, tap on Add eSIM again on your new iPhone, then scan the QR code, or tap on Enter Details manually if you got an activation code, after which you'll be able to add your eSIM on your new iPhone 16. And that's so you can transfer eSIM from an old iPhone to your 16 series iPhone. If this video helped you out, then give it a thumbs up, support us by subscribing, and I'll see you soon.